Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video training series brought to you by the ITVideos.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about how we can insert the summary field which is sometimes very handy and I'm going to show you that in a moment how we can use it so uh, before I do that let's quickly go ahead and run this report I'm using it, I'm using it in uh, visualstudio.net 2008 so I'm going to hit the run button and uh, it will come back to us with the uh, report and uh, as you can see this is the simple and plain report and uh, if I go to the last page the very last page now what we want to do is we would like to include the the grand total of all the products the the total of the unit price and we would also like to count how many products are there in this table for the uh, for the products how many products are there in the table so two things how many products are there in the table and the total of the uh, unit price of these products so we can accomplish this by using something known as the summary field so now i'm in the design view of this uh, report if i go to the crystal menu uh crystal reports menu and if i go to the insert sub menu i will find something known as summary field and i can and these are all the columns or fields as you may call it and uh, what we are interested in is uh, the unit price okay this is the column right here and uh, what we want to do is uh, uh, how would you like to calculate this summary uh, summary you would you like to know the maximum or the highest price or the lowest or the minimum or you want to do a count what we are interested in is the sum that is the total of all the all the unit price of the product and uh, where, would, where are we going to insert this one are we going to insert this one in uh, you know we have only one option that is uh, the report footer it will be shown right here that is below the below the detail section so all looks good the unit price has been uh, selected the field has been selected the summary has been chosen and where it is going to be inserted all looks good I'll just hit OK and it is inserted right here so uh, you know what just save it and uh, run the report and let's see if we get the desired result so on my first page you will not see the uh, uh, the summary if you go to the last page because that's where we are going to see it and sure enough we get the summary or uh, the total of all the unit prices well it's better to have a label right next to it saying this is the total so let's do that and if I right click and if I say text object because we are going to include a text here and if I say right total okay that tells us this is the total of all the products and it will definitely show the total in the uh, report it's quite uh, obvious I go to the last page and it tells you that this is the grand total I can even you know make it uh, bold for it for uh, easy reading okay and let's insert uh, something known as the count of how many count of all the products so I will just copy this one instead of you know, inserting it one more time I'll just say total product count okay. I just Okay, we have set the name of the label and let's insert the summary that will uh, you know give us the total of uh, all the products okay let's say product ID uh, I would say let not the count of that uh, let's say product name count this is the count of all the uh, product names okay I hope I'm uh, I've uh, done it the right way I'll just hit uh, save and run it and let's see 
if we get the result all right comes back to us telling us that there are total of 78 products in this report and the total price of the product is this amount right here so that's how we use the summary field you can use the maximum or count or minimum or uh, or uh, or maximum so you can use it to your uh, advantage or as per the requirement is so that's how easy it is to use the summary